Hey there! So, I mentioned it before, my friend Reagan has been replying to these videos on her Tumblr account, and sometimes I answer them back in my vlogs, sometimes I just write her back a response, and tonight she wrote me a really good one in response to my last video talking about the creative process that I go through, and songwriting and that sort of stuff. And I just kind of wanted to read what she said because it was really good. I believe there's two types of musicians. There's the music theory person who likes music for the sake of analyzing it, finding out how it works, and using it for their own uses. The other musician is a performer. That's me. I find no enjoyment in m playing my own stuff. I love playing pieces by other people. The part I love is playing in front of people. When the audience is really into how you're playing, it's almost like you're controlling their, I wouldn't say soul, but like their spirit, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. If you're playing something fun, the audience feels like they're having fun. If you're playing something dark, the audience feels scared. And it goes far deeper than just emotions. In short, if you have, in short, you have them in your hands. That's the part of music that gets me. It's really interesting to me reading why you like to play music and seeing it in your own words. But I definitely come from a place of enjoying playing music that is very different from yours. I kind of am almost the opposite of you. First of all, because I am very much so the person you described in the first part. The person who likes to understand music theory and why things work the way they do and that sort of stuff. And it helps me connect more with the music to kind of know the facts and figures of it all. But what was most interesting to me was how you described the way controlling the audience gives you the most enjoyment. It's kind of funny because actually I've just always ignored the audience. This is probably why I knew I was never going to be a professional musician and that that would be not the perfect career path for me because while I love all the music and all that and I love playing it and I like you said, I love taking what the composer has done and staying true to them, but also giving it my interpretation. I love all that. But the audience, I have always just tried to be indifferent to them. That way I'm not intimidated by them. Former. The part of music I love is playing with other people, be that in an orchestra or especially my favorite in smaller ensembles like string quartets. I love how that feels, that relationship and that conversation you're having with the musicians around you. That's why when I'd be in a musical group or an orchestra where the players weren't listening to each other, I'd get very frustrated. Because to me, they were missing the point. Whenever the audience melts away and even the notes on my page melt away and thinking about fingerings and bowing patterns and all that melts away and I'm just in the moment with the musicians on the stage creating something, that's what I love. Regan, I'd like to thank you. I was almost not going to make a video today because I could think of nothing to talk about that was interesting, but you saved me. And I miss you, and I miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you. Oh, and I didn't get to see you while I was down, and I'm going home tomorrow, but oh well. It's, we got the internet. It's all good. Well, except for when I go home, I won't have the internet. Again, and I'll have to go to the other house. Oh, God. This is spiraling out of control. I'm going now. I love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.